Jared Polin, fro knows photo.com. Before I get started into this week's photo of the week and how I edited it, 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 it and some other techniques, I wanted to show you this. I can't see the screen, so I hope it's in there. Mine's a 2.8. How big is yours? That's right, I'm wearing the shirts. They are here and can be picked up in the store. So, let's go through this photo photo of the week. Uh, this was taken, when was this taken? Uh, a couple months ago, almost two months ago, well, actually a little more than two months ago, and I was basically asked to jump out of a plane, which is good, and I decided to do it. Uh, it was for this Maverick Business Adventures um, it was a, they had a weekend thing where they were getting together and learning more things about the internet. It's run by a guy named Yannick Silver, who is a really amazing guy who, you know, works really hard, plays really hard, but gives a lot back to the community and to the world. He works with a lot of different charities, and he's definitely a guy that, that is just really someone that is, that I'm great, you know, very privileged to know and to be able to work with. Um, so he had me come down to his business uh, event and take photos, and basically attend to help learn more things, as well as enjoy the weekend and jump out of the airplane. So I took, a, obviously, the photojournalistic approach to, to photographing him as he walked to the plane, and this is Yannick over here. Yeah, he's in a chicken suit. He thought it would be fun to wear the chicken suit to jump out of the plane, and uh, yeah, he scared this guy, who's a pretty big dude. The guy was a little worried about the chicken suit, but it held up well, and everybody landed fine. So why did I choose this image for this week? Well, we're going skydiving. And you may ask, why is it black and white? But I'm going to get that get to that in a minute. But here they're walking towards the plane. You know, it's just like they're going away. And then I like the fact that this cone is here. And, and also, they're not centered. When we talk about composition, they're not centered right in the middle. I'm going to use this. I'm not going to crop. But here, it's how, you see how it's split? They're not right in the middle, so it's balanced a little bit on the left by the cone and a little bit on the right by this sign. And let's take a look at the sign. You know, skydiving orange, no spectators beyond this point. Spinning propeller will chop your head off. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool to have in there. So they're beyond that point. You know, I didn't plan on having them beyond that point, but obviously these propellers will chop your head off. Um, yeah, you wouldn't want that to happen when you're going skydiving. Uh, especially when you're going to be jumping out of the plane next. But I just liked this photo. So it was taken with a Nikon D3S, one five thousandth, five thousandth of a second, F4, 500 ISO with the 24 to 70 shot at 24. I love the wide feel here. I just basically got down low. I like to shoot low angles. When I'm trying to make a point in an image, I shoot down lower and shoot up at the subject. It makes the subject seem larger. Now, Greg's really tall. He likes to shoot down on subjects, but that's his thing. That's not mine. I don't like shooting down on subjects. I like the feel of making the subject larger. Now, that doesn't work well in portraits, as Greg has shown me, that you're better off standing or being higher up for family portraits because I've I botched a whole family portrait by shooting everything too low and it just didn't work right so that was cool well it was cool that Greg helped me out there but in this case I like showing what is going on in the image you've got the plane you have this sign you have this cone and everything is evenly matched and they're not right in the middle so for your rule of thirds they're thrown off slightly but everything is here everybody is walking to the plane and you know, that's what makes a really cool photojournalistic image. He's wearing the chicken suit. He's walking towards the plane. So we know they're going skydiving. You don't want to get your head chopped off. So it's the whole, mm, we're about to jump out of a plane. Should I be worried? And that's the feel that I get from this. It's like, well, we're, we're off. We're, we're going and taking our risk. We're taking a chance here. So I chose to be black and white. I like this image in black and white. Now, that's not saying the color wouldn't have been good. Let's take a look at the color. All right, obviously it starts off flat in the raw file, but boom, we pump it right up with your contrast, and look how much that pops. I mean, sure, the color looks cool. You know, the chicken suit's yellow, and you've got the sky, but it doesn't seem to exude that same, you know, boomness. You know, can I say boomness? Yeah, it doesn't exude that same boomness that I get if I desaturate, leave my contrast up, I'm going to move my blacks up till I like it right about there, I'm going to change, tweak my exposure just slightly. 
and now it has that feel. It looks like a, you know, and a, my general sharpening, which people have been asking what my general sharpening is, uh, 45, 1 on the radius, 39 on the detail, and 70 on the masking. It's, it's pretty subtle. But you can see that right over here, my settings. There you go. But yeah, I like I like the feel of this in black and white. Sure, the color's cool, but it just gives it more of that, you know, what's coming next feel. And, you know, everything went well. He landed, the chicken suit worked, he wore the mask and everything like that. And on the post on froknowsphoto.com, you can see a slideshow of the weekend that I spent with these guys. Uh, and different types of images of everybody getting ready to jump. But I really, you know, I like this black and white image. I like the composition. So take a look. See how you can, you know, emulate this if that's something that you like. Or feel free to send us one of those raw files uh, if you want us to tweak your file one day. So, Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.